All right, it's Monday, April 23rd, April. It's not April. <laughs> It's Monday, what is it? August 23rd. It's Monday, August 23rd. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. I am just finishing up cleaning up our schoolroom to start with our gap year friends so um, that's what we're gonna be doing today is just kind of sorting through the stuff in the homeschool room I pretty much have everything in its proper place but I'm just gonna go back through each little section and just try to make notes of little updates I want to make or clear and declutter the things that I missed already so that's kind of what I'm doing today I moved our bookshelf over to this wall in the room um, and I just kind of tossed our books on there but now I'm going to take them off stack them up here and the kids are actually going to help me to sort through and organize based on what they think is the best way that we can organize the books on the shelf this year we are working on our gap year which I don't know if you guys would have known about this yet we have our little sign right here we're working on our new schedule for the gap year which means that the first portion of our day is dedicated to fall for family things um, and then we have a study time that starts at 2 with a tea time that the kids have been loving so I may be able to show you a little bit of that get the kids started with filming so I think we have about four or five videos that the kids are going to be full on a part of filming and uh, taking photos and loading them to our blogs and helping me to write the goal is to have the kids jump in all the way and bring their best selves to the table we're gonna have a lot of that going on <laughs> This is my life these days, but that's okay. Hey girl, hey. All right, so my plan's kind of, <laughs> my plan's kind of almost fell apart at the very beginning of the gap year because I had scheduled to have like our focused study time in the evenings. Um, and then I realized the kids had all the things going on with soccer practices, basketball practices, cooking class, that type of thing. So I realized that our night school, evening school um, type of plan was not going to work. So I ended up trying to move our study time to the morning and that wasn't gonna work. So uh, this week we're gonna try out starting out with a tea time at two and getting in a good solid two to three hours of study time. So maybe later on I can break down how, well, I'm probably not gonna break it down here. I normally talk through all of that process and, thing, um, and things with my friends over on the Friends Club because it's my safe space to be able to talk all things homeschool life and doing things extra. <laughs> and making them magical and making them my own um, over on our friends club so hopefully I can kind of communicate how I'm working through starting out this gap year y'all I have no idea what I'm doing but we're being spirit fed and spirit led and uh, I'm looking forward to all good things during this 365 days of our homeschool gap year so Hi, boo. Hi. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to communicate to the kids the things that we're going to be filming today and see if I can be efficient and get our filming done within like maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I will give us to try to film for our friends club. And um, yeah, and they can start getting work it. They can start working on getting that footage over and get them in a nice little process of um, editing and writing and all of that jazz because we got goals friends and i want them to be a part of it all what are you guys doing Wait. anyway let me stop Wait. being chatty and get to it what are we doing friends putting a cap on your head i completely run my life off of a block schedule on my ipad
this is my darling Savannah. She is in charge of our social media and marketing. I'm really excited to have her on the team now. So she is gathering behind the scene footage for us to share with our friends on our social platforms. And this is my honey mom, Savannah. <laughs> I like and she's the photographer of our family. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, we have all of our stuff laid out. Kendall's our content manager, so he is currently helping to get all of our stuff together for what we're going to be filming for the Friends Club. We've got our stack for doing a book haul. We've got our stack for doing a resource haul. And then I've got a stack for doing a supply haul. Well, at least most of it is here. So this is going to make it really easy for us to sit down and film these for the club. Our chief photographer, so he's currently currently going through all of the equipment so he can get acclimated with what everything is and decide where everything is going to go. So when I need a battery, he's going to be on it. When I need a tripod, he's oh. going to be on it. Mm -hmm. Equipment that we have collected over the years, he's going to organize the bag and organize the things so that when I need whatever piece of equipment, he'll be on it. And then I am, what am I doing? I think I just forgot. And he said, I only kill ants that are out for our plants. Because there were ants in the bowl. Because there were ants in the bowl. So he said, I only kill ants that are out, out for, for our plants. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm trying to get more of, okay? So we're just going to keep moving to document and try our best here. I'm so excited. I feel like it's going to be a little bit bumpy in the beginning while we try to get everybody kind of acclimated to their new jobs and how things are going to work or flow. So in general, our work time is going to be during the day and then we're going to kick off a tea time around two o'clock. That's going to lead us into our study time for the day and we'll get in a solid like two or three hours worth of study time before we move into like extracurriculars and that type of thing. All right, evening routine and then our journaling. And of course, this is just like like regular planned day. This doesn't include any Falco family adventures that we have planned or other things, um, bigger production days, um, any like confessional recording days. It doesn't include any of that. This is just our basic average day that we're trying to work towards. I got 10. Nice. <laughs> um, what else was I gonna say? So I'm going to go ahead, so I'm going to go ahead and start filming the intros for our videos and then the kids are going to help me kind of work our way through those and get that footage done. We're going to try to shoot for productivity around an hour is the goal, even though we're a little bit late getting started with our filming time. I feel like we can be done just in time for lunch, so we'll see how it goes. special about <laughs> looking through stacks of books that's just fun right um so next up I need to get these kids some lunch good and mom. I'll be back good mom. I'm a good mommy good mom. thank you baby good mom. <laughs> this is the current fallout from today I have a broken globe confession time already I'm tired and I want to quit for the day <laughs> for the week for the gap year, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, it's just been a lot of like, um, a lot of talking, <laughs> trying to communicate what the plan and the goal is, and trying to get them not to get distracted and fall back into their regular mode or regular things. I don't even know if this is making any sense, but hopefully along the way, it will start to make some sense. Um, so we have work time during the day, and so that's when we're trying to plan out and map out all things that have to do with Falco family, um, which is a lot of pieces, okay? So I'm not even gonna try to explain it here, but it has to do with filmmaking, it has to do with education, and it has to do with lots of creativity. So these are all things that the kids and I have shared and talked about together, shared and opened our hearts about, just kind of string together ideas of how to make it come to life, and that's what we're currently working on. So I established a plan and a routine for us to go about growing in those specific things is basically what it is 
So, I'm tired already. It's lunchtime. <laughs> they need to eat something. I'm partway through one of the things we were filming for the Friends Club, and I wanna quit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get those other four things filmed, at least while they are lunching. Cameron is still sorting through camera equipment, and if I can just try to get a solid hour of filming while they are having lunch and taking a break, that would be great. And then maybe I can have a cup of coffee or something so I can plow through and move on to our study time for the day. It'll be nice because we'll have some tea with our little tea set. Um, they are all about tea time, so that lets them know that we're moving into the study portion of our day and we'll get our studies in for the day before they have to move on to extracurricular activities. Y'all, pray my strength, okay? Because I'm tired already and I want to quit, but I'm documenting this and we're going to get this done. Um, this is not day one of our gap year. This is actually the week before our gap year officially begins and then we will be documenting all 365 days of our gap year, okay? <laughs> okay. So right now I'm just trying to get the room in order and just iron out any kinks, making sure everybody knows where everything is and um, yeah, just kind of really getting into a decent groove. And I like to start this anytime I do something new and different, which is pretty much every year. Um, we just kind of growing in grace over here. Um, I like to start it like two weeks ahead to give the give ourselves time to iron out any kinks in our schedule and our plans and make room for this period of frustration. I did this last year when we went into our like official unschool year. If you want explanations for all of the things, I answered those types of questions in our friends club. Um, at least that is the goal. But um, this is our gap year and it is a little bit different and a little bit further along in our plan. Hey friends, I'm not sure why you're so loud. We're not loud anymore. Yes, this two weeks leaves me room to be frustrated and keep moving because I know that ultimately this is gonna produce some good fruit and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plow through today because your friend got a new iPad for all things homeschool business and life. <laughs> I'm very excited about it because I've always had to share my iPad with the kids and this time around they have theirs. We have collected them over the years of not spending money on a curriculum. <laughs> like um, traditional prepared box curriculum. Um, I save up my coins to add into our bank um, for electronic devices. And this time around, I have an iPad and I'm so excited. And so my reward for myself for plowing through today and not just giving up on the day is that tomorrow morning, I get to unbox my new iPad. <laughs> so, if you see that video, that means I would have made it, okay? And we get to unbox our new iPad together. So, all right, I got out my thoughts and feelings. I'm gonna get myself up and I'm gonna keep going. First, the lunch, next, an hour of power type of filming, and then we'll move on from there. Let's just pray I can get through study time today. I think I should be able to because tea time just really helps us all calm down and relax and um, get focused. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, look. And they rise to the occasion. So he thought he would be outside practicing basketball right now. So he's a little disappointed. But what did you say? At least this is not boring. It's not boring. So he's putting in that work. So we're not always super excited about everything, but we get it done and we keep pressing towards the goal, right? here. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you. And your gifts and abilities. So I'm here trying to enjoy my lunch and this one comes around the corner talking about our new kettle. I told you guys. It is it is 1 35 mm -hmm. and at 2 o'clock we have tea time. Right. And we have our kettle. <laughs> so I got a new kettle. We turn the stove on, put the kettle one that whistles. On the stove. And that whistles and then we put it in the tea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's gonna whistle to let them know that the water is ready and tea time is on. And then we pour it in the tea mm -hmm. and we're gonna have um, sugar mm -hmm. and then I like oat milk. Mm -hmm. and, and then we have milk. We have this cute little kettle that we use for our milk. What? <laughs> okay, but this is mommy's break. Somebody. <laughs> okay. Put it on. So. It's super cute. This is a luggage strap. It's big. You can put it mm -hmm. on luggage. And then... It's fitted for the... studies and adventure. <laughs> 
thank you for showing us your book bag. Now put it back over there. Back to my lunch. <laughs> okay, my me time. Thank you, friend. Your me time. Mm -hmm. me my time. I, me I, Me time. <laughs> to be quiet right now but these are working out great they have these little screens that we picked up from Ikea to help them focus <laughs> all right friends <laughs> we had a great end of the school day and then we got um, practices done for the night which I thought I was gonna get some footage from but I didn't and we got dinner done and I made a little bit of progress on the rest of my filming but I'm calling it a night okay my room and the room is undone but we made some progress I still have to film a little bit in the morning put my teacher card back together again put all of this stuff away I'm gonna feed her friend good night don't forget to subscribe